Well, you may have seen movies over the weekend, but man, as long as you can see stories like that, oh. you can't beat that. Yeah. No, no movie can beat that. But Bob Richards is joining us here this morning, of course, because we know there were some good movies, and one that in particular that everyone is talking about. This Bond thing? Yeah. 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 This that, little, that little, little known little character movie? named yeah. Bond. Yeah. Yeah. Richards. Bob Richards <laughs> is going to tell us about it. Oh, thank you. <laughs> well, the sky didn't fall over the weekend. Anything but for 007. The 23rd film in the 50-year-old James Bond series had the best opening of all of them wow. with 87.8 million dollars worldwide the films already earned a half a billion dollars wreck it ralph fell to second place with 33.1 million and flight fell to third with 15.1 million skyfall gives a nudge and a wink to earlier movies in a hugely entertaining bond film maybe the best yet and that's saying something considering this is number 23. Daniel Craig is quickly becoming my favorite Bond of all, although Sean Connery is still in first place by a nose. There are some amazing scenes, wonderful cinematography, and it obeys the rule of car chases. If a car chase takes place in a foreign country, it will crash into a marketplace, <laughs> resulting in the wanton destruction of fruit and livestock. I love the awesome opening credits. Adele's theme song is the best since McCartney did Live and Let Die, and Javier Bardem sure makes a great bad guy. Plus, it mentions Idaho. Oh. By the end, it reorders and resets, and I'm really looking forward to the next film. I fell for Skyfall, four and a half stars out of five. The details now at the flicks is an odd black comedy starring the somewhat miscast Toby Maguire as a doctor who is obsessed with the raccoons that are ripping up his yard. His yard's just a metaphor for his life, which unravels as fast as this self-destructive guy can do it. Laura Linney plays a crazy new age cat lady hilariously and is the highlight of the film. Her performance makes this movie worth watching. Writer-director Jason Aaron Estes delivers an offbeat, flawed, uneven, fairly bleak, but mildly entertaining film that might leave you scratching your head as you try to figure out what he's trying to say. The devil is in the details. Three stars out of five. For my reviews, a look at this week's DVD and Blu-ray releases and more, head over to my website, BobRichardsMovieReviews.com, or you can link to it at IdahoOnYourSide.com. So that $87 million opening, you know, just a little bit of money there. Change Pocket change. Pocket change. Uh, what is that? One of the bigger openings. It is the biggest of, well, of a Bond film. But I'm talking like, I mean. Yeah, it's a it's a it's, very good opening, but it's yeah. not the biggest opening. I think uh, a, a huge opening is in the 130, 140. Oh right, still million. Though. But right. really, really getting there for this. Time it's of year. almost 90 million. That is nothing to sneeze at. Yeah, not certainly is it. Now in that the Skyfall, is it? You of course said it could be perhaps one of the best of the 23. Is it sticking with traditional Bond movies, or is it kind of breaking new? You know, ground? that's the thing I love about the Daniel Craig Bond. Is it? It changes kind of everything. He's mixed it up a little bit. He's a grittier, more. Uh, uh, he's macho kind and it of works. Yeah. And it, yeah, works. Oh, it works great. He's not just like that debonair suave right. guy. In a suit. He has well, a little of that anyway. Well, he is that, but, but he, he goes is, beyond that. Yeah, he's more of the action hero kind of guy. Definitely he's worth guys, watching. Guys. I've heard that from every single person who has seen it this yeah, week. You're yeah, making so me want to go see it now because I, I was on the fence, but I, I do trust your reviews. So. <laughs> to the theater in the works. <laughs> that means a babysitter and <laughs> oh, all no. of that, too. I know, right? It's worth it. Okay. Thank you, Bob. Coming up next on Good Morning